because 160 plants is not enough. It's not enough. It's never going to be enough. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam. I have a lot of plants and that's what we talk about here. And today we are going to talk about my wish list. A few of you have asked me to do one of these and I kind of just wanted to have it all organized in one video anyway. And I'm also going to post these on Instagram. I am totally going to bite Becca from De La Plants' idea and put them in like a little highlight bubble on my Instagram. If you didn't see Becca's video, she mentioned that she has her wish list on her Instagram in one of those little highlight bubbles so that she can always access it. And this also gives people the availability to see what she wants and maybe they want to trade with her and then everybody gets their wish list and it's great. So I have a lot of plants on my wish list right now and it is because, but both because it, I just, I suffer from the hungry ghost syndrome, but also because all I do is look at plants all day and then when you do that you see more that you want some of these have also been on my list forever and I just refuse to pay $200 to get them so I just kind of hope that someday they will come to me in a less have to take out a loan kind of way the first one on my list and you guys have heard me talk about this multiple times is I just want a variegated monstera I would love a Thai constellation I think that's the one I want the most but also the Albo Mm, very pretty. Um, I would take either, frankly. Um, I just don't want to have to fight people on eBay for one or pay hundreds of dollars. I have started to see a lot of the more coveted philodendrons starting to come down in price. So, you know, well, it, it might come to me in other ways. We'll see. The second plant that I have wanted for a super long time that I just haven't found yet is a, uh, it's, it's, it's a titty cactus. I want one. One of these called a breast cactus. I like to call it a titty cactus. I'm gonna get demonetized now. And I'd love to say the scientific name of this. Okay, let's try. Let's okay. Let's let's try this. Mir Miritio cactus. Uh, ge geometry. Ge okay. Let's, let's just not. But yes, I would love a breast cactus. I think they're awesome. Okay, so if you didn't click off my video already, let's get to number three. I like to weed them out real early, you know what I'm saying? Number three is another Sansevieria. I'm trying to get my hands on a black coral Sansevieria. I love these. I think they're awesome. They're just, I've had like just the Laurentii for a super long time. And then I recently purchased a Zalinica from uh, Josh's Frogs and we all saw that tragedy. Um, the plants are doing okay, by the way. <laughs> they're real ugly, but they're doing okay. Moving on to the first of many Hoyas. I want a Hoya Linearis. I want one. Look at it. It looks like it belongs in a Dr. Seuss book. How could you not want this? This is another one I just haven't come across yet. Usually they're online, but they're always sold out or I just haven't seen one in the store. So here I am living my life without a Hoya Linearis. Next on the list, I want one of those dragon scale alocasias. And I believe it is pronounced a Alocasia baginda? 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 This is going to be horrible. This all, I can say it in my head, but then when it comes out of my mouth, um, it falls apart. I don't know what to tell you. Something's not connected. Alocasia baginda, or dragon scale. Look at that shit. It is sexy. Onward, philodendron, Florida ghost, needed in my life. Definitely not paying $200 for it. Uh, also not paying $100 for it. So I don't have one. I just love how weird the leaves are. They are so weird and I love them. The next one is totally a weird plant that I just saw on Instagram and I don't know too much about it. So maybe if you guys do, you can let me know how you take care of it. So I know if I can even take on this beast. It's a Cercestus mirabilis probably close enough but look at how weird and alien this plant is I love it it looks like it has makeup on I it's 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 the drag queen of plants I need it next you guys know that I am a begonia ass bitch and I really would love to have a begonia black mamba the goth in me needs it the goth in me can't live without it uh, the goth in me doesn't want to live anyway just something about the fact that nature has all black plants just warms my cold dead heart 
Next on the list, one of many Peperomia. This is the Peperomia Piccolobanda. I'm a huge fan of Peperomias to begin with. So there's something about this one. I just love the leaves. It almost, something about it, it reminds me a little bit of the dragon scale alocasia and like, I, I just love it. I don't know, I need it, I need it. They look real good on one of my shelves, real good. Another Peperomia that everyone else but me seems to have is the String of Turtles, the Peperomia prostrata. Like, why can't I find that? I can't find it anywhere. Give it to me, universe. I want one. I want one! This is one of the cutest Peperomias, and it destroys me inside every day that I don't have one. Next up on the plants that I will possibly, probably, most likely kill is a Jewel Orchid. Oh, these things look like lightning on leaves and... It does things to me. I have basically every alert set for literally every website that I shop for plants on for the next restock of some kind of jewel orchid. And I swear to God that uh, every time there's one, I don't have a single dime to my name. So one of these days, the planets will align and I will have one. We'll put it in glass and try not to look at it too much. Next, I want a string of pearls. Uh, I had one, I had an all green one, uh, and it had one mealybug on it, and it was after, I think, that was my third mealybug outbreak. This was when I really started collecting succulents a little bit more, and um, I, I had a little bit of a, I had a tantrum, and I threw it in the trash. So uh, I don't have a string of pearls anymore. So I figure if I'm going to get another string of pearls, I want it to be this one. I want the harder to get one, I want the one no one can find. I want a variegated string of pearls. Hmm. Yes. Next, I would love a philodendron melanochrysum, and uh, I had one. I had one in my hands at Logis, and I looked in the little elbows of the plant, and uh, there was webs. There was a lot of webs, and I put it back, and then I was like, you know what? You don't need to be spending more money on plants because this was the same week that I had already spent a whole bunch of money on plants, y'all saw. Actually, y'all didn't even see everything I spent money. I guess I'll have to film another video after this. Anyway. Next up, we have the Aglionema Pictum Tricolor. Uh, look at that beast. Mm. She pretty, and I'd like her. I think the, the humble Aglionema is a bit underrated in the plant world. I think uh, people kind of blow her off. But, uh, you know, I think they're pretty cool. And uh, just about any plant that I can keep alive is okay by me. All right, let's pull a Hoya hat trick and go for three, three, three. The first one, the Hoya Obscura. Ooh, obscure. I need it. I want it. Look at it. You probably want it too. Maybe you have it. Maybe you want to share some. Hoya, carry eye, variegated. Because again, I don't want the plain one. I want the harder to find one. These were also at Logies the day that I went, but they were only for the people who took summer's bus from New York. So I just had to watch people walk around with them. I don't want to knock them down or anything. No, that'd be terrible. Could you imagine? I imagined. Hoya, compacta, variegata. Are you seeing a pattern here? Am I, uh, I'm, I'm, just a variegated aspect, I guess. I didn't think that I really was, but I am. I am. I actually don't have even a, any Hoya compactas because um, everyone that I see is usually really long and usually in a store that makes me very nervous. And those have so many little cracks and crevices for gross little mealybugs to hide in. And again, I am traumatized by mealybugs. Uh, so we're finally free of them. I'd like to keep it that way. Uh, so sometimes I just don't buy them because I can't see into all the nooks and crannies. So I figured if I got kind of a smaller one, I might make me a little bit nervous, but um, I might risk it for, for this. The Sissus Amazonica. So I already have two Sissus and uh, you know, it's kind of like the last of my uh, Triforce of Sissus that I would like to assemble. Uh, so I need one of these. I'm on a bunch of lists for this one too, and that's another one that if I don't see the email within the first hour, they are like gonzo. It's getting a little cold now, so I mean, it's still in like the 50s where I am most of the time, so I'm not too worried about getting plants in the mail right now, but I think even if they do restock right now, that one's kind of sensitive. I might not ship that, so I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> there are two anthuriums on my wish list right now. There's this one. I'm not even going to try to say that because, uh, yeah, nope. 
Mm -mm. I would also like an Anthurium Bruticii. I mean, look at this thing. Look at it. I'm pretty sure I said that name wrong too, but we're all just gonna move on with our lives, okay? Feel free not to tell me everything I said wrong in the comments. <laughs> And the last thing on my wish list is this Dishidia White Diamond. Uh, these things are really pretty. I saw them on Josh's Frogs, and then I also saw that Beantown Houseplants had one. And I was like, yeah, no, I need that. Definitely need that. So now I have my Josh's Frogs credit from my uh, tragic order, and I'm just waiting for them to restock, basically, so that I can j like just buy that plant um, and hope that it gets here in one piece. So, yeah. So that's it friends, those are all the plants that are dancing through my dreams. If you have any of these plants and I have plants that maybe you're interested in, you can check out my houseplant tour if you're curious what I have laying around as well as any unboxings that have happened since then. And uh, you can hit me up on Instagram, I'll put my handle right down here and uh, maybe we can trade, you know, maybe we can trade a little something. It's getting a little chilly but I th I'd say I got like at least three, four more weeks before I have to just stop mailing plants altogether. So to Aiden Alvin on 143. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, friends, let me know what is on your wish list down below, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. If you didn't see that video, I have written all of the things that I want down on my bullet journal. On my bullet journal? Did I write it on my bullet journal? Did I write it in my bullet journal? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, sense of area. Okay. But yeah, the super not are you looking at the camera or are you looking at over here? Who's over there? Why are you talking to yourself? Talk to them. Talk to them. Instagram and I'm um, don't tell Circestus Mirabilis. Romia piccolo blonda. What blonda? Pepperomia piccolo blonda. <laughs> Already got my sissus. I already have a Sissus discolor, and then I already have, what the fuck is the name of that that I love so much? Sissus. Oh damn, I really can't remember. Oh, it's gone. It's gone, son. So I already have two Sissus.